Hello everybody and welcome back to Altenstein, our little small map that we've been playing on. And uh, its schedule is going to change here uh, probably next week. So this will be every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday will be for Upton Farm. Until we change maps, so keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, what do we need to do today? Well, we need to finish our work in uh, Field 8. And we're going to connect those two together. But first, we need to check on our animals. Now, we're completely out of straw. We don't have enough stuff to make power food. They're fine. Water's fine. Okay. So, for right now, we are sitting okay for once. <laughs> uh, we're broke as a joke. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's uh, $2,000 we didn't have. Before, actually, it's about eleven hundred dollars because we had nine hundred and sixty. Uh, I think is what it was. So uh, yeah, we tried to do this with the Deutschfar, Deutschfar, Deutschfar. Uh, however, we want to say that uh, combination of German words there. But because our plow cultivator thingy is not a plow, it's a cultivator thingy. Uh, we couldn't join them together. Uh, it wouldn't allow me to create a field. So, yeah, all we're going to do is basically just knock this thing here down. Without running into the creek. The creek? No, it's, it's creek. Not a creek. We're not from Kentucky. Oh, I know that sounds harsh, but... I've heard worse about uh, West Virginia, so suck it up there, UK. Try to get this a little bit better here. Not going to be perfect. And I know right now somebody's going, Why are you tearing up this perfectly good grass field? Uh, because we are using the grass fields in between the sheep farm and field one. So, yeah, we're going to uh, make this field a little bit bigger. Um, we have to get field 18. It's 18, right? Yeah, field 18 ready to go. And what else do we have to do today? Hmm. I'm sure that we can find something to do along the lines of animals or, you know, anything, anything there. I know I'm not supposed to turn with the plow. Yeah, we're gonna get uh, this here done. Uh, we're gonna take care of our animals the best we can. We might do a little bit of contracting work. Um, I know I say um a lot, but Honestly, I don't play this for a couple days, and this is like my stress reliever map. I guess I could talk about what's going on in the real world. Uh, went to a couple of places. Uh, one of them being Baumgars, which is a uh, kind of like a farm supply store. Uh, I got a call back on them. I just want a part-time job. Uh, I've got a lot of certs and everything. I, I could walk into a dealership, basically anywhere, <laughs> and work on anything I wanted to work on. And it seems, you know, like uh, I've got people say, well, just go do that and make a lot of money. And guys, I, money isn't everything. Um, uh, like I said in the last uh, video that we did, that... I missed a lot of time out on a lot of other things. So I'm quite, quite okay with taking a job that pays $10, $11 an hour. Just kind of piddling about for a year. Uh, I know that sounds kind of outlandish, but the way that my life is set up right now, I have that ability. I'm not making any other revenue from anywhere else, but... Oh, there goes that. 
the wheel is starting to kick in and out every once in a while. Don't know why. But, yeah, I have, uh, I've been lucky enough. And I've saved up enough to where I am comfortable to be able to do that. So, yeah, there's no, uh, no big deal there. A little part-time job. Uh, as long as I can pay for my motorcycle, it'll be okay. <laughs> uh, drive an old Suburban and a uh, newer Victory. So, am I down? Yes, I am actually down. Pick you up. So, uh, yeah, the, the bike is a good, good stress reliever, but I only get to ride it like five months out of the year in South Dakota because it's always freaking snowing. But, you know, it's, it's a good time. Oh, we need to turn in that field. Oh, I forgot about that. We'll do that with the uh, small cultivator here in just a minute. I, I'm pretty sure that's ready to go. If it's not ready to go, I'm going to look like a fool. Hopefully everybody likes the tractor that I picked out, too. So, if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, don't fall in the creek. Come on. I almost bought a always far and up then, and then I was like, mm, no, we can't do that. We have one here. So about a fan, <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest. I think they kind of look the same. They're probably completely different machines, but to me they uh, look a lot alike. So, or is that just it being green? So yeah, this shouldn't take too awful long. I think I'll just do a jump cut to whenever it's done. And we'll start work on field four. So I just realized uh, this video is going to come out before the Upton Farm video. So surprise, <laughs> it's uh, it's Upton Farm. Uh, yeah, didn't think that one all the way through. But it, it's okay. It's not like uh, a big surprise to a lot of people, so. Now, if I had like two million subs or something like that and I gave it away, oh. I think uh, there might be some anger, but uh, I don't, so it's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. Yeah, we're almost done here. Uh, we need to take care of Field 4. But this needs to be turned in. Our animals need to be taken care of. I know I've said this all before. But we need to take care of Field 13 too. We own it as well. But, again, I don't want to get a worker. We can't really afford one right now. So it may have to wait till tomorrow. But we're already in late spring. So we've got to get a, get a jump on our stuff here. We're going to be hurting. Very, very quickly, actually. Because we have to have uh, enough straw and everything to last us through all winter. So, yeah, it needs to be done. And so that means having enough silage and everything for our power food because we are going to buy more cows. Uh, I want to have... I want to have at least 100 sheep and 50 cows on this map. And I figure that'll keep me running uh, until next year sometime. So I don't see it being too much of an issue. But that requires us to plan ahead on everything that we do. So, yeah, we are, we're going to have to up our production as much as we can. That's why we're doing 
all the field work that we can possibly do. And I actually asked a question on the forums the other day about upping our difficulty. Uh, if there was any mods that we could get to do it. And besides like little things such as uh, you know crop destruction and everything like that there's really not. Uh, I didn't play FS15 at all. Like This is my first farming sim game. Which I've mentioned quite a few times. But uh, there was a soil mod and I didn't know about it. And I kind of wish I was around there for that because that would have been I messed up. Yeah, that would have been a lot of fun. I know that sounds odd, but the thought of having to watch your irrigation and everything, uh, you know, see what's your moisture and everything like that is on all of your crops, you know, that to me is fun. So, yeah. Uh, I think it's more along the lines of I used to keep books. <laughs> it's, uh, gotta keep all the numbers right. Every number has to be correct. So, yeah, there, there's that. And we're gonna go ahead and get back in this. Gotta make sure Create Fields is off. Because we don't want to tear up our driveway. Uh, cultivator. Is in this barn. Yes, 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 it is. So we'll get this turned in. It shouldn't be any problem. I wouldn't think. Hopefully it's uh, right. <laughs> I, I think I have never grown the uh, uh, what are they called? The uh, cover crop. So I'm hoping this does its job and fertilizes my field correctly. Let's uh, take a gander and make sure. We're in field four heading north. Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, I'm doing something right. So, yeah, there was something I uh, actually learned about the Seasons mod. Because I actually went and read their, red web uh, read their website. Which, uh, you know, normally helps if you read the instructions before you use something. The little scanner thing that's in miscellaneous, if you use it, it tells you how wet your crops are. And I always thought that it was the indicator at the top of the screen, you know, with the, the three water droplets and the two little uh, plants there. No, no, that just means you can't thresh them. Uh, there is still moisture content, <laughs> and I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be using that to its fullest on this map. So... Uh, along on our other maps as well. If we play with Seasons, then we'll be using it. I think that's pretty neat. That's actually something that the uh, farmers around here worry a lot about. You'll see some of them hold crops for months. I mean, like they'll go and uh, harvest uh, like a test bushel or whatever it is and see what the moisture content is, and if it's too high, they'll let the shit sit. And uh, there's been... Oh, it's like the second year I moved up here. It was November. And we're like, is this guy going to cut his field? And, uh... I think it was a couple days before the first real big snowfall. They were finally out there doing it. I'm like, holy shit. And they were carting it and everything like that. And that was uh, right outside of Hartford when uh, we lived up there. But yeah, we're almost done here. Half our day is wasted. I might have to slow down time. 
I kind of left the game uh, running while I done the grocery thing. Yeah, we're gonna go slow it down just one. And I should be done with this here in just a second anyway. Coming up to just a couple of little bits that we missed here. So I'm hoping for a pretty good yield out of this field. Uh, it should be three stages of fertilizer whenever we're done. At least that's the plan. <laughs> I think uh, I think we'll be okay. It's not, I mean, it's not a very big field at all, so I don't expect, you know, miracles or anything like that, but uh, something, something a little bit better than nothing. Uh, I think we're like 20% uh, over. We'd probably be at 30. So, that's no, not bad. Not bad. Uh, the, I don't know what I want to put here. I discussed it at one point, but I can't remember what I said. And I'll be honest, uh, I really like the look of sunflowers, so I might do it sunflowers. So there we go, we're done with that. Now, what uh, what fields have we done here? Oh yeah, look at that. That's uh, That's looking dandy right there. 18 is plowed, so it needs to be cultivated, or does it? Plowed, plowed, cultivated. Field 4 shows growing for some odd reason. <laughs> okay. So let's head over to field 18, and... Get it cultivated really quick and then we will plant it and I had made mention of getting rid of the sprayer and we will do once we have enough to replace it not I mean it, it sells and replaces itself but I want to do like a natural thing next spring so we will do like a, a slurry and nor and all that fun stuff uh, that way you know we're still getting it but everything's based in our farm is that getting all that why is that not getting all that I think the field boundary might be a little bit messed up because I missed it the other day too the feature right here nope oh, works there so I guess it's just me being bad Yeah, we'll cut these headlands, and hopefully we won't run out of fuel today. I don't think we will, but you never know. Uh, we'll get the headlands cut probably three times. That way I'm not backing out in traffic like I've done the last time. And, yeah, that should be good to go. Um, and now my phone's going nuts. Yeah, I'll do this and cut to a time lapse and yeah, I'll talk to y'all here in just a minute.
jobs pretty well done. I missed a couple little spots. Or like one for a wide. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be me if I didn't miss some of the bits. here. And there's like two more little places somewhere. Be one of them. Oh, they were like right beside each other. There we go. That's field 18 done. And ready to plant. Uh, today is the seventh day, correct? Yes. And if we check our map here, if we were wanting to plant wheat or barley, we have a couple more days to do it. Uh, their harvesting days are here. So we need to get on top of this whole deal. We need to plant sunflowers too. I'm going to go ahead and do the sunflowers, I think, today. I think we have the correct planter for it. I think. If we don't, we don't. <laughs> uh, if we do, we do. But uh, I don't think it will be too awful much of an issue. But yeah, we'll get field four planted. And that should put us pretty well at the end of today. I don't think our animals need anything today. They should be good. I mean, they're out of straw. I don't know why they're not healthy. They should be fine. These I'm really worried about because we don't have power food or straw, so... If it becomes too much of an issue, I will put in the uh, buy a bale mod and we will buy a bale of straw. I seriously looked at it then still was trying to pick it up from the wrong way. I'm not a smart man. Like I looked dead at it. <laughs> Even like a little bit. I looked at it and made the conscientious the conscious decision that I was going the correct way. Grass, wheat, barley, all oh, soybeans. I think we'll plant some soybeans. The temperature's high enough, I think. Ooh, is it not? It might not be. Ground temp. Has to be 50 degrees. So we won't be doing that. Canola it is. open. Time lapse too for the day.
Okay, so besides our little uh, strip here that uh, we've got left, and one there at the headland, and the little bit at the top that I always miss, that will do us for field four. I think I need to start uh, cutting more into the headlands. I think four on this one would be a lot more prudent. The turnaround space at the top is a little bit ridiculous, to say the least. I don't know if I can get all this. More than what I have. Okay, let's check our progress. Our animals are kind of ooh, all over the place. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, this won't have to be touched again. It's ready to go. Now, I realize that uh, we just plant canola and field two's canola. <laughs> so, uh, we've uh, doubled up our canola, but uh, we will be good to go for first thing in the morning. Doing some... Is that not the seed? Oh, that's fertilizer. Where did I get the seed? Oh, it's over here. Uh, we'll be good to go first thing in the morning on field 18. So, not an issue at all. And look at there, we're almost back to where we started. Okay. Do we have a pressure washer? No, that's front weight. I thought we had a pressure washer. Maybe I was mistaken. Where is our Velmet? Oh, it's right there. Duh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What are we good on? As far as our animals. Silage hay is both the same thing. We're going to use our silage for power food. They need a little bit more grass, but we're out of grass. How is this doing? Ooh, it's 100% ready to go. I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> I wish I could bail it. If I could bail it, I'd put it all in there. Up in here. No, no. Kind of. Is there anything in here? Woo! No. Oh. No, we don't want to buy pigs. I'd like to take this straw, but I don't think I can do that. I don't believe that there's a way in this pig pen. No, there's not. Hurry! Still zero percent full. Only six thousand liters. So that's not enough to do a field at all. That'll be like just a done kind of thing. Y'all need cleaned out. Wish that told me how much that is. Does it? Yeah, it does. Anor, forty-eight hundred liters. Still not enough, and we're out of straw. Hmm. Well. Only one thing to do. Clean everybody out and get them uh, get them good for tomorrow. Because we're going to be busy, busy, busy tomorrow. Okay, there's them taken care of. Should have brought up something. Yes, it did. They brought up grass. That was 300 things of grass. up to the sheep farm. Cut down through here. Really try not to catch that invisible edge again. See, now their trough looks so empty. 
wonder why that looks so empty. And why their health is so low. I don't understand. And they never move. Which is uh, slightly terrifying. And we'll just head over this hillside. I don't think it'll lead us to our death. Oh my god. Okay, I lied. That, that, we could have died right there. That would have been it. Farm, farming Sim 17 done. Alex died. I don't know what to do with all that salvage. <laughs> oh, we need a baler. Oh, we need a lot of things. Oh well, what do we do? Hey, we'll put this guy back in his little... Oh, we still have some stuff left. I didn't even realize. Let me try to go give this to the cows. Here we go. Alright guys and gals, I think that takes care of our episode number six here. We'll end on the Valtra, because the Valtra is an amazing piece of modern engineering, and it's awesome, and we love it. And I didn't turn it off. So, yeah, that's it for today, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.